realizing the full potential of somebody and having that opportunity for that person to really apply their unique skills and talents is something that really drives me both outside of work and also is one of my personal guiding principles uh, within the work itself. Hello. <laughs> So I grew up in Northwest Indiana, in Valparaiso, about an hour outside of Chicago. Once I graduated from high school, I moved to Chicago at 17 years old and started attending Columbia College Chicago, pursuing fashion design. And after two years in the program, I realized that fashion and art was a hobby and not a career path for me. Switched my uh, major and field of study to psychology and the human services sector where I've spent my entire career. I got really into acrylic pore painting and being able to kind of embrace the process. One of the things I love so much that you can harness a feeling or an emotion and it can be in a shape that's unrecognizable. I do like to write. I, at one point early in my life, thought that I was gonna pursue being an author. Still might at some point, but I like to observe kind of human behavior and write about it. Interesting people that I see at airports. <laughs> Um, things that they're doing or wearing. I also, you can hear a lot of really interesting conversations at Starbucks if you listen, or coffee shops if you listen to people. <laughs> I am next month participating in my ninth year of the Women's Build Project uh, for Habitat for Humanity. It's one of my favorite times of the year to be able to fundraise, to be able to help share the mission about Habitat for Humanity. I also have been a volunteer at the Ronald McDonald House of Indiana for over a decade, serving meals at the house, fundraising, volunteering at events. I was actually uh, the first uh, female president of the leadership board. It was called the Young Professionals Board at that time. Also, um, now the lens of parent. When my husband, Phil, and I uh, welcomed our twins at the end of December in 2022, they were premature and spent five weeks in the NICU. And uh, he and I moved into the Ronald McDonald House. It was just a really profound, incredible experience. So now to serve on the board of the house here and to have that lived experience as a parent is really a, a full circle moment for me. The Workforce Pathways Accelerator. It's been just really rewarding professionally to be able to um, have a hand in not just crafting the concept and ultimate outcomes we want to see, but helping to uh, explain and message both internally and externally what it is, what we intend for it to do, how we think we will at least start to know that it's working and so that's just been really exciting.